Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. All right, day two is in the can and man, I am glad this day is over. Uh, remember how I told you yesterday that that uh, I was on a production line and that machine just ran and ran and ran. It was real productive. Yeah, I was on the same line today and today was the anti-yesterday. Everything that could go wrong did go wrong. Now, like I said, I know how to run the machine under normal circumstances and I know how to deal with a couple of the more common errors when they come up, but I am still a long way from understanding this machine the way I need to and little teeny tiny problems that should have been very very easy to fix you know like a forgetting to input something or you know forgetting to close a door or something like that which should have been really easy to correct just cascaded today you know you'd, you'd start with a problem and and you say okay it looks like i fixed it and then something else would go wrong and before you could fix that something else would go wrong and then something else and then something else and it wasn't even just me at this point because you know i kind of know what my limits are on this machine so you know i'll try the common things and when they don't work then you know what i know to go to go get help and i know who to talk to you know, because I can go to one of the next uh, production lines and, and get one of the more experienced people to come over and help me with it. Well, they'd get over and they couldn't fix the problem because it would just, like I said, it would just keep cascading and getting worse and worse and worse. And eventually, you know, you have to get to the point where you just call a tech and get them in there and see if they can figure out. And then they mess around with it for, for a while and then apparently get it fixed and you know not really sure what it is that happened you know, all of a sudden it just starts working again until somebody makes the tiniest little mistake and then boom it just cascades again so you know i don't know these machines i've still got a lot to learn about them and uh unfortunately the the training isn't going as fast as i'd like to right now because you remember yesterday i told you there's real personnel issues right now and there's just not enough people to really focus on doing the training and keeping the production going. Um, I did actually have a temp working with me a little bit today and that helps a lot, but still really wasn't a lot of time to, to uh, you know, do any real training. I did get, a little, get to do a little bit of paperwork training towards the end of the day and some of the QA and, and tracking stuff that needs to be done, uh, but you know, I'm still a long ways from fully comprehending that machine. It's really weird, too, because on the first day or two, you know, I walked down the whole length of the machine, you know, from one end of the machine to the other and said, OK, yeah, I can see what that does. I know what that does. I know what that does. I know what that does and walk down the whole line of the machine. And I understand what all the parts do. You know, because, you know, I can say, because you can just watch it and say, okay, yeah, that's what's happening here. Okay, and that's what's happening there, and that's what's happening there. You know, and you can just tell by looking at it and, and what's kind of watching what's happening. But there's a big difference between knowing what's happening and knowing how it happens. Uh, the software that controls this machine is very elaborate, and there's just layers and layers of detail on it because every little piece of it can be manually configured to do things, and you get one of those settings out of place, and that machine will not cooperate. So, like I said, that... That's, it's frustrating at the beginning, but it's also exciting because, you know, there's the opportunity to learn things. And I love to do that kind of stuff. So ultimately, I, this is going to continue to be a rewarding job, but it's going to be a little frustrating in, at first until I really get to the point where I know that. And I mean, that was something I actually mentioned to my, my boss during the interview. You know, one of their one of their key questions is, "What do you think your biggest weakness is?" And and I'd kind of thought about that ahead of time because that's that's kind of a common question that they ask you during the interview. And uh, you know, the way the best way to answer that is to answer it in a way to be truthful and then spin it positively. And so the way I answered that question is, you know, it sometimes takes me a little bit longer to learn things because I have kind of a level of I need to have a level of understanding before I feel comfortable with it. But that the advantage of it is once I do learn it, I will know it better than anyone else in the department. And I will be the person that you come to at some point to do your training, you know. And so, you know, I thought that was a good way of spinning it. And it really, really applies at this point, because like I said, I do understand the parts of the machine, what they all do. 
but understanding how to control it, make it do what I want, that's a whole different animal. But anyway, you know, it's just something to work on and uh, keeps life exciting when, when there are new challenges every day. So that's the best way to spin that right now. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you as always for watching. And I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.